Jackson, 80-09. It is day two guys, and you know what that means? It is time for me to do my first battles for J2. I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, but I just want to go out there and have some fun. And uh, yeah, first time battling with this thing, so I'm hoping it comes back in one piece today. We're about to go out for practice, so I'm going to get some laps in. I uh, took some notes watching the J1 drivers and how they're entering to set their car up here to get that uh, number one zone filled really nicely. So I'm going to try to replicate that today. The person for my first battle, um, he's known to be pretty shallow up there. So if I could be wide and stick to all the zones, then I don't think because he's going to be too gripped up, he's not going to be able to hang with me and we should be able to win that battle. But let's get out there and have some fun. All right, so it's practice time. Now, unfortunately, it had been raining in the morning, so the track is pretty wet. You can still see it's actually still raining a little bit. My windshield's got a fair bit on there. And uh, I wanted to do a really conservative run, but my main focus is to try and get as much seat time as possible with this car and get more familiar with it. You can see here, I'm really struggling with a lot of understeer, but I just give it a whole bunch of angle and play around with the clutch and the throat a little bit. Work the e-brake and uh, try to connect and uh, get this lap uh, all the way through. Obviously my main goal is pretty much just to try and get even more comfortable in the car in any situation. This next run I give chase a little bit. Um, keeping it very conservative though because the track is still quite wet. You can see here he did a very conservative entry but with the speed it sent him all the way out of out of zone one and that's simply just because the track was wet. Quite patchy, you can see some dry patches here and wet patches there. But able to kind of, you know, do a pretty conservative chase here. Chasing's definitely not my strong um, suit, definitely much better at leading. Really good outside view here of my chase there for practice. I will add though that I haven't done any chases yet in this car whatsoever, so I don't really know how to control the car in certain situations to prevent crashes and things like that. So I am being very conservative, keeping a couple of car lengths pretty much in all my chases this entire event. And here we have me uh, pretty much doing the last lead practice I believe I did when the track had pretty much all dried out. There's still a couple wet patches, but it was mostly dry. And uh, yeah, this was the final lead practice that I did before we went straight into top 16 battles. And it felt quite good, quite deep on a fair few zones. And I was pretty much ready after this. So practice was really, really good. Um, it started off kind of wet and then kind of started getting drier and drier. Um, for the most part, I was having no problems getting the whole track. Tandems though, everyone that like I got paired up with was really like cautious because of the, uh, the, the rain. So that was super shallow and it was hard to chase. Um, but overall, we had a little power steering issue, but that was just because uh, we had to reset the pump. Uh, these things when they get hot, if you don't start them first and let them run for like 10 seconds first before starting the rest of the car, you can get a few issues. So. Glad that that's all that was, um, but I just put down a fire lap, probably more points than what I got, would have gotten if I ran that in qualifying. Car feels really good. Um, I'm confident we're gonna feel like one and two out of zone so perfect. Um, I'm really excited, I can't wait to drive. This car feels like I'm starting to really understand it. I'm just enjoying getting seat time in this thing and learning more about it, so. Now we wait, because we're the last battle. ceremony my power steering started messing up again so we definitely had an issue we brought it into the pits and started looking over it and we found a loose connector that every time like you would move the, the harness or anything you'd hear the relays clicking off in the pump so we've tightened that up and it shouldn't be causing a problem anymore we jiggle everything around nothing's shutting off anymore I'm a little nervous about it 
Um, so I'm hoping in the burnout box I can get a really good test for it, make sure it's not going to shut off on me again, because the last thing I want is to be trying to put down a fire lead run, and then I spin out in front of him because I lose power steering, because that's a bad day for not only me, but the guy who's chasing me, and that's not fair. So if my power steering fails while I'm out there, I'm probably going to retire, just because I think that's the best thing to do. Um, but hopefully it doesn't, and we get to shred, and we make it all the way to podium. Although I'm against Matsui, and he's like a veteran D1 GP driver, so... Yay! Alright guys, we're about to head in a warm up. This is my first battle for Formula Drift J2. I know we're gonna kill it. We're gonna do the best that we can. Power steering feels good, so I think we've conquered that issue. All we gotta do now is drive and drive the best that I can. And that's what I'm gonna do, baby. Let's get it. Oh, this is gonna be a good battle because uh, both the drivers are exciting to watch. Exactly. So Sam Lucas, many of y'all know him as Salmon out there online. I see the group chat blowing up here, and then he's going to be going against Yukio Matsui. Yukio Matsui has a lot of experience behind his belt, so we'll see how it's going to go. But at the same time, seeing from Ebisu to this round and qualifying in practice, oh, yeah. Salmon, Salmon definitely looks like, yeah, up. He, yeah, he looked really good at qualify too. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get the start. Stop. Hey, Dios, stop. Push my stop. Here we are. Salmon's in the lead right here, ripping around in this outer zone. One coming up to it. Matsui trying to adjust himself to keep that proximity. And there you go, the smoke show by him. Sam it ripping into this outer zone two. Beautiful job through outer zone two here. Flicking back Whoa, around. Uh, Had a little bit of an adjustment coming into this outer zone four, but finishing off strong and just continuing that smoke show. So Chase. Here they are coming up to this 3 2 1. Sam has got to close that proximity, let him go a little bit early for that. Matsui coming around, coming into outer zone one. And you can see right there, Sam is just trying to close that proximity, and here he is trying to get it in right here. Matsui doing his thing, ripping into this outer zone four. And Sam again just left behind just a little bit, leaving outer zone three. Man, this is going to be a tough one because. It's totally different style, leading and chasing on both runs. I'll, I'll give you this though, but Sam, it definitely didn't cut the line at all, but at the same time... Yeah, but what look, he, the chase car is supposed to mimic exactly. the lead car, so you're not supposed to just run your line uh, that you just want to go. Uh, but um, I would have to say, um, if you're anticipating that the lead car is going to... If you're anticipating that the lead car is going to um, make run a wide line and you're just going towards there and can't adjust it when they kind of shoot in that's that but it didn't look like the gap was getting bigger either and um matsui looked like he was uh cheating the line a little and the angle as well so i don't know this is going to be a really hard one yeah they both had their difference like you say and this is going to be hard to depict but here we are robbie needs you to go with it one more time yochi Mamura going with it one more time and chris yule one more time so all the way down the board one more time between these two this is our first one more time battle in this top 16. Robbie, 
I have no idea how this happened, but we have it one more time. I was really hoping this would be over and done with, so now I'm gonna look through that all over again. But the good thing is, is I'm kinda now good nerve-wise, because I've already done it once. I should be able to do it a second time. And this time I have a chance to get my, my lead run even nicer. So if I do that, we'll see. It wasn't intentional, but sure. <laughs> I was like, what the hell does this mean? And then we both try, and then he's like, go, go. And I'm like, one more time. No! I was like, no! Not another one. Right here, Sam Lucas ready to go in his bright pink S15 going against Yukio Matsui in his killer S13. And here they are ripping around. New versus old coming around this 3 2 1 in outer zone one here. Sam Lucas real early, Sam and ripping through outer zone one. Oh, Matsui making an adjustment right there, leaving outer zone one and but keeping that close proximity to Sam and all the way through. Sam is just ripping through outer zone three and making things happen, giving a smoke show all the way through that track. Josh, we can go change tires now. <laughs> I'm forgetting to breathe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Top eight, baby. Top eight. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get stuff done, guys. I feel kind of rubbish because I, I wish we could have done a better chase there. It sucks that Matsui's having uh, problems with his car, so it would have been nicer if we could uh, you know, bang doors and had a bit more fun, but it feels so good. Like, new car and all that kind of stuff to be able to get a first battle. Just was amazing. Looks like these drivers are ready to go and ready to rip. Sa! Here we go. Sam is in the lead. Look at that. Real aggressive in his initiation through that 3 2 1. Watanabe trying to fight that cloud of smoke by Sam, but Sam is just laying it down. Them 80 09. Ripping into outer zone three, shredding those tires and uh, knocking those pylons all over the place. was a very uh, stylish run uh, by Samit leading. That was a lot of throttle, a lot of angle, 
and I'm going to have to say the line was pretty good uh, throughout the track. So that was a pretty solid uh, lead run by Samet. That's probably why he did uh, qualify six for qualifying. Uh, but great job by the lead driver. And uh, Watanabe looks like he was trying to keep up uh, with Samet. He does dip a tire off and hits the cone at the outside zone one. It looks like he kind of shoots his car in the wrong direction and ends up in a smaller line at outside zone two. But he goes right back on track, tries to get on the same line as Samet um, after outside zone three. But it's too late because Samet is already going through the finish line. And Watanabe uh, trying to do as best he can, uh, try to keep up. Now it's going to be uh, tables turn. Watanabe is going to be leading. And Sam is going to be giving chase. Are getting the green light, coming through the chicane right here. Watanabe in the lead, going to get Sammy here in the chase. Sammy going to try to keep that close proximity early on. And here he is holding on. Looks like Watanabe struggled a little bit through that outer zone one right there. And let's see how he's going to connect the rest of his track while, while Sam right there is just trying to keep that proximity, but getting a little lost there on the second part of that track. Nishida and Yoichi Mamura and Chris Yule are going to go right to Sam Lucas. So Samick gets the win and we'll be moving on the final spot for the final four. So, top four, final four, the 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 top four, best four, eh? So there you go, Samick makes it up to top four. And you can see right there, there celebrating that's a and lot happy. Of, yeah, that's a lot of happiness going on in the car. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby. All right, tires and gas, let's do it. <laughs> what is that, top four? Yes. yes. Top four? Yes. Yo, no, what? <laughs> oh, my God. We're doing really well. I'm feeling really good with the car and the current setup and how it feels. We're just going to keep going out there and slaying, all right? We're in top four now, which means if I win this battle, I'm already on the podium. We're so close. Let's go out there and shred. They kind of, they're similar, so it's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. What are you in the lead here? Sam on the chase. Here they are coming up into outer zone. Oh, oh Sam oh. making a huge correction there. Coming up to outer zone one. Collecting himself here, trying to get the second half of the track. And Horiuchi just doing his thing that he's been doing the whole time, making it happen. Coming through the chicane now, Samet in the lead, Horiuchi in the chase. There you are, Samet coming into outer zone one. You get a cool oh. adjustment right there, Horiuchi not phased by it, trying to collect himself here in the outer zone two. Connecting himself back around, keeping that close proximity to Samet right here, finishing off. Not able to get all the way out to that yeah, outer zone four. Kuruma no choshi ga waru no ka, trouble na no ka. It looks like something is wrong with his car maybe because uh, he couldn't keep his angle on outside zone one, huge correction again. And after outside zone three, it looks like he's down on power or something. 
Yeah, Man. it was definitely a change in his driving because he wasn't throwing the smoke that he was earlier and he wasn't controlling the car like he was through the zones. So close guys, worst timing for engine problem and I didn't figure out that I had no boost like until until after like the second lap, midway through the second lap I, I looked at my boost gauge and realized I was making like 10 psi of that and this should be making like 28. So that's why it was bogging down, that's why it bogged down on my chase. Dude, I set that up so good on the, in, on the initiation too. Uh, next time, we know we can get to here, all we need is a have no problems, and we're on podium. We were this close, damn it. Next time. Yay, 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 yay. Take off, take off. Take off, oh, oh, shit. You ran this, like, you long time for the first time, so this is why like everything, everything yeah. gets pumped up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is the longest I've ever driven this. Yeah. And like, for me to be in these final battles, it's so tough on the car because we don't get to like come out and yeah. chill for an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only get to do the minimum yeah. things. Yeah. Right? But everything else, like, I felt so like connected to the car. I knew what I needed to give it. I knew what I was looking for, feeling for. Dude, we were this close. I put my foot down, and the engine just nothing, zero. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, clutch kick, clutch kick. I did like three clutch kicks, and it kind of starts going, and I'm like. That's really weird, like what's up? I, I was pretty sure I was like, good. It was like the moment my foot came off throttle, it like, something went wrong and I can't make boost anymore. Okay, we but, gotta um, figure it out. And then I was like, that was weird. Maybe I was just slow on accelerating and I just questioned myself. I didn't think something was wrong with the car. So then I was like, all right, I'll do a killer lead run, make it mess up. Went to do the killer lead run. And then I just had no, no power, no boost at all. And it was like, I couldn't, I kept straightening, like it was rough, but, it wasn't because of me. I know that this time. That feels good. I'm sure it's something simple. We'll figure it out. We'll plug into the computer. And Tanaka son will look at it and go over and we'll work out. He'll be here in like next like 30 minutes or so. Oh shit. Nice. Yeah. So we'll, we'll check it out. We'll find out what's going. We'll have a conclusion and some closure. I want closure because I was like super bummed. But to be honest, the guy I was up against, number one qualified. He, run, he won last round too, right? Or the yeah. round before. So he's a really good driver. Um, series ranking number one guy. Yeah, series ranking number one guy. So, I mean, it would have been a very tough battle, but it, there was still a small chance. If I had boost, I, I reckon I would have done well. And I was like on him. Ah, it would have been so good if I had power, because I would have been on his door and lunged in. <laughs> So I'm here with Tanaka-san now. We're gonna go through the logs and try and get a better idea of what happened to my car. At this point, we are assuming that it's my wastegate has failed um, and most likely it's stuck open. But we're gonna get a really good idea by looking at the logs here if anything else was up or wrong.
We got the data, and it's exactly what we're thinking. No boost for the last two runs here. Like, nothing. So, we definitely know something's up. Tanaka-san's going over everything, having a quick look in the engine bay, but we've gone over all the piping and couplers. There's no holes anywhere. This looks like the wastegate's jammed open to us, or something else is at play. So, we'll look into it, but definitely very odd. So, it's been one hell of a day, and I don't even know where to, like, pick up the camera from this. Massive thank you to my friend Nadine for helping film a whole bunch of stuff for me today. Like, I didn't even know what we filmed or how this video is going to turn out. But I am, I'm on cloud nine right now. It feels so good to be able to perform the way that we did, get comfortable in the car and all of that. It, it really feels amazing. I didn't know this, but apparently the FTJ2 drivers also have to do the signing session now. So I'm going to go there, meet some cool Japanese fans and all that kind of stuff. Which is awesome. It's been such a fun day. Well, guys. Nothing more better than a fitting image like this to wrap up today, I think. <sighs> there is no way anyone is wiping this smile on my face. We went from zero last round. Actually, we got one point, I'm lying. We got one point, but you know, we didn't qualify. So pretty much zero to fourth place and probably podium if my wastegate didn't jam open. So living the freaking dream. We're gonna go out there and slay it Okubuki. Fasto qualified, so I'm gonna go support him tomorrow. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, smash that like button, write a comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Jamata. Yeah. <laughs>